Well, three years ago, a Lincoln police investigator died after being shot in the line of duty. Now local first responders are teaming up to honor his memory with a blood drive. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has more. This past Saturday marked three years since Lincoln police investigator Mario Herrera was shot while serving a warrant. Herrera died 12 days later. During those final 12 days of his life, officials say he received countless amounts of blood transfusions, keeping him alive longer than anticipated. Now, LPD and LFR are banding together for the 12 Days of Hope blood drive to honor his memory. You have the positives of people coming together and you have the, the remembrance for symbolizing something good, the uniting of the community, um, but you also have the memory of the incident itself, which can be hard and people process that in different ways. The Nebraska Community Blood Bank says for every one person who donates, up to three people can be helped. Blood equals life, and um, when people need it, they need it. And uh, if we don't uh, donate and have a supply, then when we need it, it's not going to be there. So I would encourage everyone to find their own reason to donate blood. Officials are hoping for at least 150 donations from the drive, but you can also stop by their donor center separately. 99% of the blood that is collected with Nebraska Community Blood Bank stays right here in our state, and there is no other way to get blood without volunteer blood donors. It can't be manufactured, it's not grown in a lab, so it's got to be done by volunteer blood donors. The blood bank says some of the FDA's guidelines have been changed over the last few years, making more people eligible to donate. If you missed your chance to donate on Monday, you'll still have another opportunity on September 7th at the downtown station on 9th and K Streets. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.